Imagine being stuck in the wilderness and needing clean water. What if I told you the solution could be in your backpack or even your backyard? Well, today I'm going to show you how to make a DIY water filter from common items you might have at home or could even find in nature. This is a lifesaver for survival situations, camping trips, or even just a fun science project for the kids. So stick around to find out how it works. This handy filter uses multiple layers of filtration to remove various impurities from water. Each layer tackles a different size and type of contaminant, making it a surprisingly effective filtration system. First is the gravel, which tackles larger stuff like pieces of twigs and leaves. Then layers of different sized sand traps medium sized particles like dirt and grit. And finally, activated charcoal is the superstar ingredient which absorbs different chemicals like pesticides, forever chemicals, and VOCs, as well as bad tastes and odors. Here's what you'll need to get started. A plastic bottle, knife, gravel of different sizes, sand, both fine and coarse if possible, cotton, bandana, sock, or similar, and activated charcoal. Now before we get building, like this video if you want to see more DIY tutorials, and let me know down in the comments what project we should work on next. Okay, enough talking let's build this thing. The first step is to cut off the bottom third or so of the bottle. Flip the top of the bottle upside down and place it in the bottom for stability. Now we'll add all the filter materials starting at the bottom. First, we need to add a material that'll hold everything else above it. If you have cotton balls, they work perfect, but if you're in a survival situation, anything made of cloth like a bandana or even a sock will work just fine. Next, break the charcoal into small pieces using a hammer or a rock. We want these as small as we can get them, ideally pea-sized or smaller. Then add the charcoal on top of your first layer. Next, add a layer of sand. The finer, smaller grains, the better. Then add a layer of coarse sand on top of the fine sand if you can find it. Finally, pour in the gravel, leaving about an inch of space at the top. Just like with the sand, if you can get a couple layers of different sized gravel, all the better. Now that your filter's ready, grab a clean cup or just use the bottom of the bottle that you already cut off to catch the filtered water. Carefully pour your dirty water into the top of the filter and watch it work its magic. One important thing to remember is that while this DIY filter can remove some impurities, it's not a replacement for commercial water filters or municipal water treatment. So if you're relying on this for drinking water, like in a survival situation, it's vitally important to disinfect it before drinking it. The easiest method is to simply boil the filtered water before using it. You can also sterilize it using UV or chemically disinfect it with iodine tablets or unscented bleach. This was a different kind of video than our normal content, but hopefully a helpful one. It's a fun project to learn and a great skill to have for unexpected situations. Plus, it's a fantastic way to explore DIY creation and the importance of clean water. If you liked it, give this video a thumbs up and stick around for more on DIY water filtration. Click or tap to watch now.